Good, what's good, man? For the people who don't know what's going on, bro, go ahead and introduce yourself. Whoa, oh, man, I'm Money Made Nero, you know what I'm saying? Big Money Made, TSF Business. Nah, for sure, for sure, bro. Now, nah, first of all, welcome yeah, home, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's good to see you back out here moving and grooving. Yeah, for sure, back outside, man. Now, nah, before before you got locked up, bro, you, you was going on a crazy run. You was fucking with the blogs. You was throwing your own shows. You was bringing shit to your city. Yeah, you know sure. what I'm saying? Giving niggas opportunity. Uh, You know what I'm saying? Like, what was that time like for you? Shit, that shit was cool. It was just regular motion, you know what I'm saying? Regular day life motion, shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like do you motion. feel like you was getting enough credit in your city? Cause I feel like, bro, like and, you know, I, you would never really get credit from where you're from, especially my city, small. So, yeah. shit, that shit not really even going on. So it's like, yeah. you feel me? I, yeah, I ain't really have time. My fault. I ain't really have time to do it long enough either, though. You know what I'm saying? With my situation that was going on. That's a fact. That's a fact. And you super young, bro. Yeah, like, for sure. a lot of nigga, I, at the time, for some whatever reason, bro, I was just traveling to Waco a lot, bro. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? And uh, like, bro, like. Every time I would mention your name, it niggas, it's like niggas would like, yeah, he doing his thing, but niggas really be hating on you. Like, why you hating on bro so hard? Like, yeah, but I mean, I respect this shit. Niggas gon' hate, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, niggas yeah. gon' hate, but shit, I understand why niggas hate, you know? What, 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 was it like, what was it like going up for you in, in Waco, bro? Because, like, shit, obviously you beat a lot of odds yeah. in your area. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? So what was that like for you? I mean, growing up, it was cool. It was just regular shit, you know what I'm saying? I was just a young nigga getting money growing up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what it was? So, like, you, you always just been getting you know, money I, on Yeah, I've been like this. I was in high school, walking in the door with Jerry on my shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 10, 15,000 of Jerry on my neck. So, nigga, like I say, niggas gon' hate, you know what I'm saying? I've been yeah. doing this shit since legit. Niggas been watching me pop shit since a, a baby, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And niggas be, like, Shit, when we was in school, niggas used to be trying to do the same shit I'm doing. Niggas might go up to the jewelry store and ask how much this shit is that I'm wearing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They get that ticket, they be like, damn, yeah. So now they really seeing what's going on. Yeah. And yeah. that shit just start to build envy, you know what oh. I'm saying? Yeah. You can't help everybody. Nah, real talk, real talk. Now, bro, uh, you went to jail. You caught a crazy charge, bro. It was yeah. like, it was all over. It was, it was over everything. You know what I'm saying? You was all over the blogs and shit. Mm. But like when they... It's like, I feel like, I need to go back and read it, bro, but I feel like you got, it was, they said it was a trail of money from one crime scene to the next crime scene. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, if you want to, like, can you walk us through, like, your situation? Oh, damn, I got sneeze. I love that. Uh, nah, shit, my situation, shit, um, I ain't a lot of laws just really try to banish me on some shit, you know what I'm saying? What it was was shit. A nigga tried to come take me out, you know what I'm saying? I defended my home, but I mean, overall, I'm I was fighting the laws the whole time. You know what I'm saying? I got charged for the situation, not on the facts of the case, but on the status of the person that I am. You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit really crazy. I was fighting the laws the whole time. So it wasn't really like it's by law technically. You were in a hundred percent in the right. Yeah, I, I beat this shit in three months. I ain't even see the full three months for this shit. Mm. Like my lawyer got to beat as soon as he got to the DA office. Mm. The laws charged me. You know what I'm saying? So they took it from. Like, was it ever like a federal case or was it all state? Charged? Nah, the, the the murder at first they were trying to hit me with a capital murder. Okay. They were trying to see if the drug deal gone wrong. Right, right, right. Not based on the circumstances. There wasn't no drugs found. Not based on what's going on. Just based on my name. Based on who they said that I was. Oh, okay. So they like, we've been trying to get this little nigga, we know he been doing this, 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 this happened, we gotta lock him up, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they just did me dirty. They so just, how long did you end up sitting for the case? I don't know, for the case it was only like shit, about three months. Okay, now with the police, you, you was just, you been out of jail? What? You been out or you was locked up? What you mean? I went to jail. No, I'm saying, you, you said you sat for three months. Yeah. Was you, did you I go got back, back out. I got oh. back out. Remember, I had two months. Right, right. I, 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 I remember got, you came home, and then I think you got locked up again. I got locked up again. The feds picked me up. Oh, okay. So the feds did pick it up. The feds picked it up. So no, the feds didn't pick up my murder case. I okay. beat the murder case. They, well, so what case? Was, the feds picked up a different case that was that that I already already see on my three months. I ended up signing for um I was on papers, and I ended up signing for a gun case okay. while I was fighting the murder. Ah, okay. Cause I already so, knew the murder was gonna get dropped. I already so knew what was going on. So the, yeah, 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 but okay. but I already signed for it. You feel what I'm saying? Ah, okay, okay. But okay. when I got out, I guess shit. I don't know what they had going, but shit, that face repicked it back up on some shit. Yeah, now nah, that that's been happening a lot. Uh, yeah. I think I think that's. But really, it's been the opposite though. The state, you 
like being picked this way. I know a lot of people like they get out the feds and the state pick their case up. Nah, see, yeah, 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 nah, nah, nah. Once you get out the feds, you still got your state cases. Yeah, that yeah. shit don't go nowhere. Yeah, nah, uh, bro, like what, when you returning home, like, bro, like how how is the city been receiving you, like? You know what I'm saying? It's like, but when you went before you went to jail, like, I ain't gonna lie, Waco was on the map. Yeah. It was niggas popping. You know what I'm saying? Uh, free uh, Hot Boy West. You know what I'm saying? Free West. He, he, he put on, and there's a lot of other artists that was like popping up out of Waco. Like, yeah, it seemed like the light was shining yeah, on we Waco. Yeah, we popping shit. Now yeah. it's kind of like, and, and it dried it, up. It ain't calmed down. You know, West End got locked up, I got locked up. But you know, we come from a small city where they, that's what they want to see. Yeah. Like the, they don't, they don't want us to win in that city. They don't want this hip hop community in Waco, Texas. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you feel like, bro? Like That's I really how feel I like feel. it's going, it's going like that everywhere though. It's a lot coming with this rap shit, bro. Niggas dying. I can't, I can't speak on everywhere. I'm speaking on my city, what I see. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Cause yeah. shit, when I come out here to Dallas, it don't, it don't see like what if shit like in my city, y'all got shit that's got motion. Nah, we, when I come to sure. Houston, I see motion, so I can't speak on it. Yeah. But when I come to my city, you can come to my city. You ain't gonna see no showcases, no rap shit, no. No, nothing shit going on. Yeah, now you did do a showcase, uh, yeah, sure. and it was packed out, sold out yeah, showcase. Sure. Uh, like what? What? How was that for you? Like, how, how did that feel? You know what I'm saying? Do that in your uh, city? Like, it was uh, cool. Like, you know, that was just. That's like the younger me, bro. I was just out here doing shit, bro. So, sure. like, yeah, it's cool. Like, it was some good shit, but I don't really see it, cause, bro, I was just doing shit. Yeah. On some shit, like I'm rapping now. Look, let's do this. I want all my niggas yeah, in one yeah, building yeah. on some shit. Really? I'll fuck with him. Let's bring him here. Are you want to perform? I'm just. Like, I wouldn't say like you had like you had yeah, your yeah. people in there and they was fucking with you. Like, yeah, you know sure. what I'm saying? Like you got a strong. It seemed like you got a strong support system. A nigga that really want to see you win. Yeah, but see, I came home to a lot, the question that you was asking. I came home to a lot of hate. Damn. You know what I'm saying? So you feel like a lot of your people turned on you? I ain't gonna say turned on me, but I mean when I came when I came home with my situation, the city is so small, whenever some shit like that happened in a small area, as far as like us, that we all, you know, I went to school with Buddy, like we all went to the same school. Yeah. So it kinda made we all played the same football teams and shit. Yeah. So it kinda made niggas pick sides. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm one of them niggas like if you ain't rocking, like you gotta rock with me for me to rock with you. Like yeah. shit if Cause I look at it like, okay, for example, on some on some on some trill shit, this how some shit played out. You know, Buddy was um when I came home, like where to the streets. Buddy was running around saying what he was gonna do a couple of days prior before what before the situation you know what I'm saying happened. Uh -huh. But shit, some of these people that's telling me after the fact is some of the people that I knew. You supposed to be my partner and you listen to a man telling you what he gonna come do to me and you ain't telling me nothing, y'all niggas the situation. I don't wanna fuck with you. Yeah, nah, but now true. you got them niggas that's like, they ain't had nothing to do with me. Well, look, my nigga, if a nigga that's trying to do something harm me that ain't got nothing to do with you, then you don't need to be around me. You don't need to get in my car. You don't need to call my phone. You need to fuck with me. And that's how I came home standing on business. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So even in my, 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 my circle of friends, you don't see me moving like that. How I used to move 20, 30 deep. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We pop, I'm, I'm real militant now. My real shit. You gotta be yeah. shit. Shit but, like that. How situation happened though. Yeah, but see on the first part, like I was saying, see we all went to the same school and shit together, so it made niggas pick sides. So it's like as far as the whole city, like doing some shit like that, it ain't gonna never be the same. Uh, you know what I mean? Real shit, real shit. Now bro, you bless you. You are a TSF artist, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Uh, you had signed right man. before the goddamn situation, bro. Like what, what's that like going to Houston and, and really you know what I'm saying, politic and then being under uh, one of the biggest independent labels in the South. Shit, that shit live, I fuck with it, it's how I love. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. What's some shit you can learn like on some rap shit? Cause I seen like, I, as soon as you went TSF, like you turned your rap business up, like, yeah, you know what I'm saying, yeah. features, shows, yeah, a lot of shit you turned up. I mean, I'm gonna be real, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't been home, I, was, I ain't had time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, I've been around, I just seen some shit, learned some shit, you know what I'm saying, but I ain't really had time to just put my so, feet in this motherfucker and really, do me in this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But shit, I feel like I feel like I'm home now for sure this time. Nah, for sure this time around, bro. What you like? You, you already thinking different, moving different. Like, what's some shit that you want your fans to know, or what's some shit that like you want to hold yourself, like you you want to hold yourself accountable for, like you know what I'm saying, going forward. What I want my fans to know. And what I want to hold myself accountable on. Like a goal, like you, like now I'm trying, I'm standing on this, like I ain't doing this until I get this shit done type shit. I mean, shit, I don't really know as far as, I don't really know because I don't look at the outside, but as far as my people, my inside people, I want them to know like I'm going hard with this now, like I ain't in the streets no more, you feel what I'm saying? I done did everything I needed to do in the streets, like 
I done did all that, so I'm trying to go hard with this. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm on. Real shit, real shit. Now. So shit to the fans, that probably helped the fans out too, because shit, you're going to see me going hard, I'm going to give you my all for it. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, what's some, some shit with this rap shit that kind of like inspire you to keep going with this shit? Shit, my loved ones, my, my, my people, that the motivation that I give my people around me keep me going. There ain't really too much of nothing there. Yeah. Yeah, now, nah, bro, being as though you is so young, and I'm pretty sure you, you take care of a lot of people, bro. Like, yeah, for sure. what's, what's some shit that, like, you know, that, that just kind of be weighing on you that's like, damn, bro, like, sometimes I need a break for this shit. Like, sometimes. Yeah, nothing that weigh on me. I'm a soldier. Yeah. I be stressed and probably depressed, don't even know it, so I go look up the meaning of stressing and depressed. <laughs> nah, really? You know what I'm saying? I done, I done probably went all through those phases. I'm probably good now. I ain't even know yeah. that I was going through some shit because I just keep going. What, what's that shit going to do for me? I got sure. people to feed. I gotta look out for myself and others. I can't. I ain't got time to sit around and cry. I really got time to eat. Goddamn me. Real you know what I'm saying? Real talk. Real talk. For sure. now, a lot of people, bro, like when it come down to that, like they, they, uh, like mental health and shit like that. Do you feel like that's like a? You feel like it's a disability? Mental health. Nah, like just de being depressed and you know what I'm saying, just dwelling on. Shit you can't change, well shit that ain't gonna change until you change. I mean, I'm a not to lie nigga, so I'm a nigga telling you, hey bro, suck it up. So I can't, I can't tell you, I'm a not to lie nigga. Like, I, I go through a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've yeah. been through a lot of shit, go through a lot of shit, but, but you gotta keep your head up and keep pushing. So all my people don't even come around me when they say, cause I can't even do that for you, but I ain't just I can't baby you, rock you, hold you. Hey, cause I, I got shit, hey, you feel me? Real talk. It's still love and shit. Niggas, if you know me, you know me. Uh, I can't shit come nothing. Real talk, real talk. Now, bro, are you finna drop some new music anytime soon? Yeah, I got an album coming home. I got an album coming, you know what I'm saying? Some new shit, some shit. They ain't never really seen how I'm coming yet. You know what I'm saying? It's called Rich and Hate It. I don't know. I'm thinking about like May or something. Okay, Can't okay. get out too much, too much, but shit, it's somewhere around. For sure, for sure. Now, what made you cop the TSF piece, man? What, what, like? Uh, you know what I'm saying, man? See, I'm just trying to represent. I've been trying to go hard for this shit for two years now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I've been going through all my circumstances, getting pushed back here. Get some motion here, push back here. You feel me? So this is like my trophy. Like I made it out. I didn't get shot. I got shot. I got shot. Got booked for the murder. Came home. Got the feds. Yeah, so and you I didn't shot too. Where you get hit at? Man, you know I got. You know, hey man, you want to speak on the night or so? <laughs> man, if you want to, like, hey, yeah, said if you gonna get that deep, I gotta break it down. Cause you know you gotta understand me, player. You feel me? 